Hi, I'm Len Matteo. I'm the director of The Crucible. This play, a lot of people have read it as a piece of literature almost, but it is first and foremost a play. And it is about the Salem witch trials, but in our version, we have brought a lot of those themes and issues into today's world. As we've been saying, it's not your daddy's crucible. It's still the story of a man who has an affair and the young woman he has the affair with taking her vendetta against his wife to a public level that makes it everyone's problem. Damn you, man! You will not chain her! I'll not have it! You will not chain her! We're sticking very much so to the original script that Arthur Miller wrote, but we have decided not to place it in Salem, Massachusetts. So you are looking at this story that is it's essentially in any town USA, any time USA. It's difficult work. It's not an easy play to do. She has an arrow in you yet, John Proctor, and you know it well. It's almost Shakespearean. So you have to really get actors who understand the language and what they're doing with it. The realization of the characters, they are so real and deep and complex and present, and they are brought to such vivid and rich life by this extraordinary cast. There are little parts within the show, whether it's movement or lights or sound or props that are kind of modernizing it a bit. And it creates this feeling of like uneasiness. And I think that there's something really beautiful about that because this show is so uneasy and it helps kind of tell the story. I've been near to murdered every day because I've done my duty pointing out the devil's people and this is my reward? It's so gripping in, in terms of how it shows how easily humans can be influenced to groupthink, especially hysterical groupthink, and rallied toward violence. Thomas Putnam is reaching out for land. You're hearing love. I think that this could happen anywhere when you get that mob mentality and when you get fear creeping into people's lives and minds, there are no limits to what can happen. Why do you never wonder if Paris be innocent or Abigail? Is the accuser always holy now? Were they born this morning as clean as God's fingers? I think people are going to have a full evening of theater coming to this show. It will make you laugh, it will make you cry, it will scare the crap out of you at times. It's just a great evening of theater that will also make you think.